this right here to me is absolutely priceless. Thousand percent full of crap on. So do progressives actually attack people for having kids? I've literally never seen it. And by the way, now there's a lot of leftists who say crazy stuff, right? And I still haven't seen them say that. Yeah. You're making it up entirely. Look, I can show you tons of leftist stuff where I go, oh, that's going too far. Like right? referring to women as people with uteruses? Yeah, I mean, there's all the <laughs> stupid language and a thousand- The host is currently getting canceled by her own base after she put out this tweet. She explains that she's a woman to never refer to her as a person with a uterus, birthing person, or a person who menstruates. That the attempt to replace the word woman is degrading and that she doesn't want to be minimized to a body part. What? Her fan base is now calling her a traitor, a turf, and a bigot. But what do you think? I'm fucking better than you. Okay, much better than you. You are garbage. As I said to begin this video, this is absolutely priceless. Now, guys, there are people out there who are saying that we should defend Anna Kasparian on this take. And there are people out there who are saying that Anna Kasparian should not be defended. Don't worry, I'll get to that here soon. But my favorite one of this entire video, my favorite phrase that's being thrown out there is uh, the young turfs, as in uh, trans exclusionary radical feminists or trans exclusion, whatever the hell it is, whatever the hell kind of terms these wokes come up with, which is absolutely insane. I told you guys at some point in time, these people would start eating one another. And of course, Anna Kasparian is getting her head eaten off by the left. Now guys, I am displaying some tweets here. I've kind of decided to go ahead and go to the cutaway here so that way you guys can see them. I hope you guys read them. I don't have time to read them all. As a matter of fact, uh, another YouTube content creator, one of my, uh, one of my favorite up and coming creators, a guy by the name of Spoon, he had a very good video on this earlier, and I'll play you guys a bit of that here in a second. But the thing that I want to kind of clamp down on this is this right here. What did you expect, Anna? What did you expect was going to happen? Now, really quick, let me go ahead and say this. I typically don't come up here and rail about the whole stuff like uh, cis and whatever the hell form of, I can't say it right now, that they kind of create on the left because uh, you will get banned if you do so. But let me go ahead and say something right quick. When you call a woman a cis woman, you're actually insulting her. You see, right now the Biden administration, they're bragging about how many people in the LGBTQ community they have working for them. And of course, it's not working out very well. Of course, diversity hire is never a good idea. I also did a video earlier today on the Chicago Blackhawks saying no to the Pride Night thing. And I also have another video coming out tomorrow after this one here on the country of Uganda. Basically, uh, let's just say that they decided to ban that lifestyle outright. Don't worry, we'll talk about that in the next video. But the thing is this right here. To me, this right here makes me laugh. It really does to see a bunch of lefties go after Anna Kasparian. Now, here's the thing. It is actually insulting to call a woman a birthing person, okay? It is really and truly embarrassing to call them cis. I mean, it is the absolute worst type of insult that I can think of. As a matter of fact, it's also an insult for guys to pretend that they are women to then call themselves women. I mean, basically, ladies, you're being replaced, and I have to say this right now, I think it's actually your fault. You allow this to happen. The most powerful voice in the world at this moment in time against the whole, uh, let's just say, uh, movement or ordeal would be you guys stepping up and putting your foot down and saying, no, we don't want biological men playing in women's sports. We're not birthing people. We are actual women. Okay, that is what you should say. We are adult human females. That is what you should be saying. I mean, maybe you guys should go watch what is a woman. I mean, even though I do have my differences with Matt Walsh, I do 100% agree with him on this issue. Speaking of Matt Walsh and speaking of uh, the crowd that uh, wants to either uh, defend or not defend. Okay, so Tim Poole earlier, he's saying that we should be defending Anna Kasparian. Matt Walsh is saying no. I'm going to go ahead and let you guys know right now, as many differences as I have with Matt Walsh, I 100% agree with him. I don't think Anna Kasparian should be defended. I don't think she should be defended at all. As a matter of fact, I don't think TYT should be defended. I think it's actually funny that people are calling them right wing right now. I told you guys, anything left to far left is absolutely on the right. That's how these people think. That's how they operate. I actually love the idea that these people are getting made fun of. Now, apparently, Jink Yinger, he released a tweet earlier today, which I'm not going to read, but I'll put up here and show you guys. But let me go ahead and say this really quick. Jink and Anna are two crazy peas in a crazy pod. They have pervaded all kinds of crazy stuff. TYT as a whole has delivered more bull crap than any other news network I can think of. And I wouldn't even call them a news network. I would just call them a YouTube channel. It's a very, very large YouTube channel that for the most part serves as like a... Uh, a type of national inquirer, that right there is really and truly what they are. As a matter of fact, TYT initially in the early going, they got popular most for their comedic stretches is what they would do. The comedic sketches, I wouldn't even call them sketches, but they actually got popular through their comedy because they, at one point in time, even though they were definitely on the left, they were actually quite funny. 
But uh, they've gotten more and more and more political. And, of course, the more and more political they've got, the more and more bullshit they have pervaded over the years. And a lot of people, of course, have actually turned on them. Of course, it's funny to me to see a channel with roughly 6 million subscribers that can't get any more than 12,000 views per video. Just, just, just think about that. I'm f***ing better than you, okay? Much better than you. You are garbage. Which brings me to this guy, Spoon. Now, guys, this dude right here is a very good commentator. I listen to him from time to time. Very insightful, very good. I'll be leaving this full video in the description box, which, by the way, is obviously going to be the link to his channel. I advise you guys go check him out. Absolutely hilarious stuff. Here's a nice little taste of it. As you guys can see, she got hit by just about everybody from J.K. Rowling to uh, the Humanist Report to just by anybody and everybody on the left. There was, a, if you watch the full video, you'll see that uh, Jordan Peterson also commented as well. Fact of the matter is that the Wokes ultimately eat their own, and uh, Anna kind of did this to herself. And I think I mentioned earlier that sometimes the, uh, the shroud will come off, but two very, very quick things before we move on. Number one, I don't think you're going to be seeing her do a uh, PragerU video on why I left the left anytime soon. But then again, though, who the hell knows? You, you never know what you might see somewhere in the future. You never know what might happen. However, let's think about the Biden White House and all these diversity hires. Now, guys, you're feeling the brunt of the uh, diversity hires now. Obviously, you're seeing what the hell is going on around you. Maybe this experience might wake the country up to say, hey, look, you know, no more inclusion hires, no more diversity hires. You need to hire people who are actually qualified for the job. By the way, Anna Kasparian, she is one of the main people, one of the main arbiters here, one of the main people to go along with the zealot, Jink Younger, the uh, the guy who's full of uh, grease. Yeah, they were, they were one of the main arbiters to, uh, to get Biden in the White House and get this diversity hire agenda in place. So if you want to blame somebody for this, blame Anna Kasparian. Now, Anna, of course, she has responded back to a few of these tweets. One of them came from the Humanist Report. And let's just say that that channel is... Uh, Super special. Not really going to get too much into that because I don't want to be insulting other content creators unless, of course, they're content creators like uh, Anna and Jenk. They are the biggest purveyor. So, obviously, you think to yourself, these right here are low-hanging fruit. But at the same time, though, when they are the biggest purveyor of all the bull crap, uh, quite frankly, they need to be called out the most because they have the most amount of influence. However, there are a lot of other channels and a lot of con other, other content creators on that side of the aisle that I will be calling out in the near future. One of them, of course, was Destiny recently in a video that I did the other day about his whole entire ordeal with Alex Stein. And I gave that man props for being able to uh, to debate, and I gave that man props for trying to uh, moderate his own side. However, he is also a cuckold who allows his wife to bang other dudes, and also at the same time that he also went out of his way to... Uh, let's just say there were a couple of things in that video that I look at that say to myself, that it made me think to myself, you know what, man, maybe you're responsible for a lot of what's going on here. But still at the same time, though, you got to call these people out when, of course, it needs to be called out. TYT, of course, that thing is absolutely hilarious because they're the biggest purveyor of all this nonsense. I mean, hell, dude, they call Jimmy Dore right wing, and Jimmy Dore is further to the left than them. They call Glenn Greenwald right wing, and Glenn Greenwald is further to the left than they are. The Humanist Report apparently appears to be further to the left than these people are. Sam Cedar, I think, is just a good old-fashioned scumbag. Don't worry, I'll have videos that on him in the near future. But the fact of the matter is that this right here is absolutely hilarious. And I do not think that Anna Kasparian should be defended, and I'll go ahead and give you my reasons why. Outside the lies, outside the smears, and of course you guys saw that Kyle Rittenhouse tweet that was in there as well. 
of course, the whole Kyle Rittenhouse thing, that was one thing. Of course, the whole I think I'm better than you speech, that was another one. The, the smugness, the arrogance, don't worry, I'll be leaving the Dame Pesos video in the description box as well because it's absolutely hilarious to still watch the 2016 TYT meltdown. They do not deserve to be defended because of all the lies that they have told. Now, I want you guys to think about this really quick. Anna Kasparian, suburban, came from a very, very wealthy family. She's also Armenian. This right here is absolutely hilarious. Why it is that an Armenian is working for an organization called the T called TYT, the Young Turks. By the way, the Young Turks, of course, they're a main zealot, the guy who's running things, Jink, he's a Turk. But he's also a Muslim. He's also an atheist. And he also does not believe that uh, the Armenian genocide even happened. He constantly denies it. I will leave a link to that in the description box. You guys need to read up on that. This is absolutely hilarious how somebody who is Armenian, who is a leftoid, works for an organization called TYT, the Young Turks, named after the same group of people who completely wiped out a very large portion of her ancestral people. Just let that sink in. And before I end the video, I need to go ahead and say this right here because obviously this video is going a little bit longer than I wanted it to be because it was supposed to be just a basic reaction, but I need to say this really quick. I made a video a while back on why it is that the left and mental illness are so synonymous. Well, I'm going to go ahead and kind of break this down for you a little bit more. Now, guys, that video will also be in the description box. Now, I'm planning on doing more videos on this topic, why it is that the left is, uh, why the left is so unattractive, why it is that the left is also the most medicated group of people, and also other projects on that. Of course, they won't be left and mental illness part one, two, and three. That's not how it's going to work because obviously each one covers something else. But still, though, we got to talk about this. Now, guys... You saw that compilation from that Spoon video. You saw the compilation of tweets that I put in there. It makes you wonder exactly what is wrong with these people. I mean, what is it? Is it a lack of validation? Do they need that self-validation? I talked about it a little bit in that video I have earlier, I had planned earlier for uh, the Blackhawks, of course, the one where they actually decided to reject pride. Talk about how it was that people were looking for a very, very large high is what they were looking for. They were chasing clicks. And groups like TYT take advantage of these people. It's one of the main reasons why I blame them for a lot of what's going on here. They are the largest left-wing network out there, especially on YouTube, probably next to uh, MSNBC, which is actually on cable television. The fact of the matter is these people have taken the left and driven it absolutely insane further than what the hell it really and truly was. There are several studies to back up this, but when you have people going out there saying, uh, well, we're going to call women birthing people from now on. We're going to call them cis women. It's an absolute insult to women. It's almost like you just walked up to a woman and just backhanded and obviously you guys are seeing stuff like i don't know dylan mulvaney who by the way has not transitioned uh having uh, drew barrymore on her knees for him stuff like that this is an absolute slap in the face to women now guys i said it earlier i think the women are a little bit more responsible for this and why is that the case because you need to be standing up against the own your own leftist mob you need to be saying you have gone too far with this you need to be saying hey look you guys who are biological men are not allowed to play in women's sports. You need to be stepping up. You guys who are, bi who are not biological women need to stop calling us cis women. We are real women. That right there is what the hell we are. I mean, think about it, dude. If a guy has a surgery, has a transition surgery, guess what? He still can't have a baby. He still can't menstruate. He still can't actually be a woman. At the end of the day, he's just a good old-fashioned mutilated man. Yes, I know what I just said could get me in trouble, but the truth is the truth. The truth, quite frankly, hurts. Also, something else, too, there are a lot of guys out there pretending to be women for one reason and one reason only. Clicks. For a few seconds, let me explain something. If you're not familiar with Dylan Mulvaney, this is a very prominent, with 10 million followers, trans individual. Well, self-identified. I don't believe Dylan Mulvaney is trans at all. We pulled up Dylan Mulvaney's TikTok last night, and I scrolled all the way to the bottom to look at the first posts that Dylan Mulvaney made. And what do you discover? Dylan had tried various forms of content that were not working. Animal interviews and stories from Broadway and things like that. Only a handful. But then all of a sudden, Dylan Mulvaney came out with a non-binary they them video and got a bunch of views. First, Dylan Mulvaney was making animal interviews. Then it was gay animal interviews. Then it was I'm non-binary. Then finally trans. And when that video happens, you can see the views go from a few hundred thousand to several million now, I'd imagine the few hundred thousand views on those videos are because now people are going back and watching. But I'd, I'd imagine that back then they weren't getting all that many views, probably only had tens of thousands. That's not bad. But what does that mean? And how does it relate to this? Dylan Mulvaney was trying to be famous and then declaring themselves to be trans got them millions of hits and they chased after it. 
That's exactly what all of this is. Also, reason number two, gain the system. I know that kind of sounds a little bit jacked up, but that right is what the hell these people really and truly are doing at this moment in time. Now, let me go ahead and say this really quick before I cut the camera off and go to the final part. This right here is the way I treat the lift. I learned this going at the, uh, this, I learned this right when I was going to school at the university, okay? And I also learned this when I was going to school in the uh, community college. I learned this around family members. Best thing you can do with the lift is this right here. Treat them like they don't exist. Yeah, you can clown them, you can kind of make fun of them, but also something else too, you can kind of make fun of people that quite frankly don't exist. People who quite frankly are not important. Don't give them any type of relevance. Don't treat them like they're important. That's what they want. They want the clicks, they want the attention, so uh, don't give it to them. And with that, my final word for this video right here is that I think that the, uh, the Young Turks, I think that all the leftoids, if anything, they absolutely deserve to be just completely clowned because they are clowns. So treat them like clowns. I mean, look, you can, uh, you can treat a leftoid in one or three different ways. Number one, you can, pat your, you can kind of like take your hand and kind of like pat them, pat them on the head like a dog and just walk off. That's one thing. Number two, you can make fun of them. You can clown them. Just be ready to defend yourself when they strike. That's number two. Or number three, you can kind of keep the fence up and stand behind the fence and watch the two or three, uh, the two or three wokesers. Watch them kind of eat one another. Just make sure you have something there to protect yourself with in case they decide to strike. That's how I deal with the wokes. That's how it's probably best that you should deal with the left going forward. Now, guys, with that right there being said, make sure you guys hit that like button. Make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you guys share the video, sign up in the comment section, and I'll see you guys later.